Thanks for staying with us. So our hot topic this morning is about the CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele's um, proposed ambition, uh, purported ambition to actually run for president. This has like, um, caused quite a bit of reaction amongst various um, regions in, the, in, the, in, our, in our country. I would like to hear your thoughts on this this morning, especially because um, people like the governor of Undo State, uh, Governor Kredo, has specifically asked that he resign, that it's unethical for him to continue to remain CBN governor and be running for president. Also, um, another presidential aspirant, Tambua of PDP, has also asked that he resign. And a few people have said that it's wrong for him to run, but others are saying that there's nothing wrong in him. He's a Nigerian citizen. He's entitled to run for office. What are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 081-270-53-687-091-390-7694. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Now, I read in the papers earlier that his chairman of his ward has confirmed that he's a member of the APC. Wow. That in itself has thrown others off, saying that why is a partisan man in I charge of our, our in charge of our, our, our finances and our, our treasury? Because if you're a partisan, then there's a possibility that have you been using our resources, using our resources mm. for your party members? So these are questions that Nigerians are asking. But there's another the other quarters are saying, listen, anybody can run for office. Anybody can say I want to be president and it should be allowed to be president. But what are your thoughts on this? Who would like to go first? Talk okay, about I, I believe that every okay, so let me put it this way. <laughs> Um, I believe that every Nigerian should be allowed to run for office. If they have the competence, they meet the basic criteria, they should be allowed to run. Um, so that's, the argument is not on that count. The argument is about conflict. So even if you have capacity, if there's conflict, we cannot trust you. So there's a conflict of interest being that you are the head of the treasury. You're, 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 you are in charge of our monetary policies. CBN directs our monetary policies. CBN should advise the president on bias about our monetary policies, only to find out the head, that person who should be speaking an unbiased way to the president, is a card-carrying member of a political party. Mm. For me, that shows conflict. I know there's conflict. The thing that um, someone of integrity ethically should do is to step out of that position because there's a conflict of interest. You protect your name and show mm. that you have that um, integrity. Mm. So the conversation is not around him contesting. You can pick up the phone. And contest. It will join every other person on the field, but you cannot contest while holding that sensitive position of well, CBN Maram has repeatedly yeah. said mm -hmm. that... He's not. I'm not running. Yeah. I've not said that. I'm still waiting for God's direction. He mm -hmm. said it specifically. <laughs> yes. And uh, I have read many times, you know, we saw in the papers some vehicles that had his, his posters all around it, you know, stamped with his pictures. Yep, we saw that. So we saw that. We're seeing a group of farmers that have been able to bring themselves together mm. to raise a hundred million farmers. who are these farmers mm. you know, you know so in so many ways mm. it looks like he's saying one thing but actually doing, doing another. another there's also the today's story where he went to court to just see the legality or is it the you know constitutionality on if he could run so on one hand it looks to me like this is someone who is interested in running but uh, maybe because of the position that he holds, knowing that he'll get the backlash being the CBN governor, he's being very Nigerian about it. Because Nigerians want to do something, that they say that the Holy Spirit spoke to them. They want to do something, but this group of people had to come and force them force to them do it. To... And one thing I said I noticed with the, um, with the spirit of this year's um, aspirant all over different political parties is that everyone is coming out and saying, this is the office I've always wanted to run for. I want to take over from you. And that is what we need. We need you to come out from the very beginning, honest, with your full chest, that this is what I want, and this is why I'm running. Mm. And for me, if I can trust you at that level, mm. then I feel like I can trust you another. Yeah. But if you're here just going left and right, and in the end, if it happens that he has been part of all these, <coughs> you know, putting his campaign together, mm. he will come across as being, um, you know, not trustworthy. And I think that already would... Um, mar his political mm. ambition. Ambitions. Yeah, for, yes, for me, I believe that wise people do things right the first time. Uh, with his level of education and enlightenment, this is not what I expect. He knows the rule. He knows the law. He cannot come and give us the excuse. He wants to go and check if the Constitution, the Constitution is looking at him. <laughs> the Constitution is looking at me. I'm saying it. The CBN Act, Section 9 of the CBN Act, demands 
that service rule which says no public officer shall hold any office, paid or unpaid, permanent or temporary, in any political organization, offer himself or nominate anyone else as a candidate for any elective public office. Let me not even Black go further. White. Black and white. So he can't what pretend he that he does doing? not know. He knows. But like the way Nigerians are, we do things with impunity. We always believe that we are above the law. That is what is playing out. The group of farmers that contributed this money are the same group of farmers that have been begging the federal government to give them something so that they can continue to survive. We have issues of inflation. We have issues of crops are not available, readily available for them. Security. Fertilizer is expensive. So I don't understand why they will gather this amount of money. So let's even say that they actually did. This group of farmers that we do not know, how they're surviving. Groups, so. It was only the farmers. I know. Yeah. The farmers, when I heard the farmers, that was where my head mm. busted. I'm mm. like, do we even know our priorities in but this country? But you know that the anchor borrowers, for reasons, also a program from the CBS. Yeah. So yeah. his problem, that's... So the group of farmers, they however, they have, have the gathered money. themselves and brought money, did not advise him that, Oga, since we want you, let's take for instance, he's not the one that wants himself to run. Please, can't you, uh, why don't you um, resign from this position so that you can focus on this? Let's do things right the first mm -hmm. time so that we don't have issues of uh, conflicting interests. PDP is telling him now that he needs to be prosecuted. He needs to be arrested and quizzed on how far the economy, governor yes, is the the economy has crumbled under him. He needs to tell us exactly What's where the money? money is going to and where it's coming Let's from. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'd like to open the phone lines to hear what Nigerians are saying concerning this matter. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. As I said, we're going to be opening our phone lines now to callers. Uh, but I wanted to take this comment from the senior advocate of Nigeria, Kunle Adekoki, on this matter with uh, the CBN governor. He specifically the governor of the central bank is expected to be impartial and not by his own personal interests or the interests of, of a political party. Emefele, as the governor of the CBN, represents all Nigerians. And in that capacity, he's obliged under the Constitution to serve each person irrespective of their party. And he says that without evidence, it would be grossly irresponsible for anybody to be agitated for CBN governor to join politics or for even him to be joining politics. Mm. So that's pretty much the, the, the paraphrasing his, um, mm. his comment. So everybody's saying that he should resign, pretty much. Nobody's objecting to him to, to become to yeah. run for office. But be, it's the ethical thing to do, mm. especially if you're going to be the chief, uh, the, 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 chief um, the commander in chief of the armed forces, you definitely need to step aside from, from so, what so you're doing right me, now. So for me, my own worry is this, nobody needed to have told him about this. If you are confident enough, you're wise enough to be aspiring for that position, you should already know. Yes, and... It just shows a reflection of the kind of people that we are. are around him that are willing to say, oh, you can go there and do it. Number nothing will happen. Nothing will happen because we just feel like if you are, you are at that level, you can aspire for anything. Another thing that is very important to me is why can't you wait to serve your time? Finish your, your tenure. Establish your amazing wisdom and build your CV your that I'm done. Then say, I want to now contest for the position. Because at the end of the day, the fact that he is an APC member already compromises the, the CV that he's building. Because anybody, your party loyalty is very important. Because the party is saying that this is, how, this is our agenda as a country. Mm. You cannot say, Thank economically, you. this agenda will not work for this country. So... Are you, who are you now loyal to? Are you loyal to the party or loyal to and the in institution some quarters, you represent? It's a, but thank you for taking me there. Because in, in some quarters, people are already saying that all oh, this, everybody, Tom, Dick, and Harry is running for office. Mm -hmm. it's, like a, it's like a purported uh, fundraising party. Good. Like, we're well, all saying, everybody, we are bringing 100 million. Let us put money together so we can run, we can mm -hmm. actually run for the uh, election. Then later, we find a way to pay because you Because it's looking like a fundraising party right yeah. now. Everybody just coming forward, 100 million naira. See, Mr. Naira. Nigeria. But is that what is, it is? Is it really another way for the party to raise money? The party and will get money. We, yes, what I'm saying is, is it deliberate? We go some, some because, I suspect uh, it is. I'm wondering, everyone is doing this. Like, is this a way that ha has the party sat with a group of people and say, you know, we need to raise money and maybe just come and say you're trying to run for office? Mm. And if that and is the case, you know, you know, one thing with politics and politicians for me is something that I just find 
very uncomfortable because today they'll say A and the next thing they'll say B or you look at something right now you think you know it all tomorrow when they flip the page you're like oh so <laughs> no. this is what has happened you know so for me it has been bothering right, me the number right. of people that are just yeah. coming out from different areas that say that they want to be president and I say this because I'm also looking at the popularity of the person of the CBN governor like what has he done politically that he thinks mm -hmm. he has the following. I know we had um, Atiku Abubakar talking the other day and says, right I now millions. I have confirmed 11 million votes. Mm -hmm. How many can the CBN governor say he has confirmed how many votes? The Where farmers. has he gone to? Who are the different, where are the different zones that he has gone to to talk about his politics? <clears throat> so if you buy a form and say that you're running for president, yeah. where exactly do you hope this will take okay, you? Let me take this call from Ade. He's in holding for a while. Ade, are you there? Thanks for calling. Good morning, Ade. This is my personal view. Yes. I don't want us to blame Emifele as such. Okay. Right. This is the unseen hand of the Kaba that wanted Emifele from day one. So they can choose a vice president from the north for him. And that vice president will be the one in charge. Emifele will just be in office as a president, but not in power. <laughs> ah. It's a plan of the Kaba oh, because they don't want to hands off this presidency. If you watch out, you see that Emifele has pumped a lot of billions. Uh -huh. To farmers in the north, a lot. So they prefer initially somebody they can approach to control. If not, there is no way initially we say you want to contest for presidency. Somebody who cannot even win a war in his local government. But the Kaba, mm -hmm. the unseen mm -hmm. man, mm -hmm. are the one pulling him. Mm -hmm. Come, we will experience. give it to you. If you watch and you see that APC have released some forms out that you have to withdraw for, all the contestants have to sign withdraw for, they must be going to court. All right, this is another version. So there are different versions. I said, when, when he doesn't come out straight to tell us, well, what he has said, and let us be very clear what the governor has, the CBN governor said, that he's waiting to be directed by God. And today is Monday. Um, his lawyer, <coughs> Zekome, will be appear in court today to confirm the constitutionality of him running for office. So we'll wait to what the courts say and see that. The vice president. Mm. The vice president denied vehemently mm. for a very long time. He was also praying. <coughs> but the intention from the inside came out. So Nigerians are used to people that will say, I'm not going to. And then they later come out and say, my people pressured me. Mm. It would be a disservice for me not to I don't want use this experience like to serve my people. Let's give you comments I on think, social media. Um, and Nigerians also need to open our, we need to open our eyes. We're not going to be voting for anybody who does not come out straight to tell us this is what I want, this is what I want to do this, for let you. Let me pause you for a quick second. And the reason I want to pause you is that, okay, let us put the constitutionality of him running aside for a second. Mm. Okay. Is Emir Fele a good candidate? In the sense that, listen, our problem is mostly economical and insecurity. Mm. Our problem, we need somebody who can actually turn around the economy of this country and create jobs for young people. So, if we set aside the other thing, mm. is he somebody we can actually consider? Okay, let me still ask you a question. <laughs> um, has he been able to turn around the economy as we speak? When it comes to the economy right now, he's mostly in charge. Some, some would argue. No, no, no. no, no Policy-wise, no, no, no. yes. Policy-wise, one yeah. What, what, okay, what drives so, an economy? It's yeah, policies, yeah. the right policies. Yeah. You put well, in the right policies and you're able that. to get people to come in, get foreign uh, direct investment and all that. Yeah. It's the policies. So the question is, has he been able to do... Have we seen that level of trying to turn around the economy right now? You don't have to wait till you get into power as a president because mm. as a president, you're even limited. There's so much you can do as a right. president. So in your capacity now, what have you done for the economy that will make somebody chill and say, hmm, this guy, if you give him the rent, he will so, do better. Okay, so okay. Okay. So I, I, I would say I don't know. I don't know if he can. Because um, as a CBN governor, even though he makes policies, I know that he takes most of his directives from sort of the presidency. You know, he will give his advice. And in the end, it's, you know, we always have this, um, we have this thing where it shows that there's always someone behind that determines in the end what is done. What is he has do? introduced some policies and then we see him change his mind on those policies. So for me, I cannot say I know him as someone who may be able to run for office because I haven't seen anything. And that's why I was talking about his political activities even. I don't see, I haven't seen that side of him. I've never heard of him outside mm. of um, CBN governor and someone who is really struggling to, yeah. you know, help build, rebuild mm. our economy. Do you so remember Saludo? 
Yes. Mm. But what at was, the time. So, so you was mostly the time. leading yes. the banks. Remember the commercial banks? They had this... Um, no, no, no. no. Um, so um, was this recapitalization. Yes, yes, yes recapitalization. Mm. That was, happened with yes. that place. There was, there was... He had his tenure. Yeah. Okay. He had things he did. <coughs> Some people don't agree with him, but the entire nation saw that we had stronger banks. Yes. We had less cases of a bank and just fold up. Those were policies that he put so in Udo place. Championed. And the result, very obvious. The policies from this current CBN governor has been trailed with many controversies of this is not working. We dashed them money. They did not refund the money. Percentage of the money's anchor borrower policy that is one of the greatest achievements of our current CBN governor. If you calculate the percentage of people that are returning the loans, it is, it is very, very low as compared to what it should be because they have many other issues surrounding them. So I, I, in, my, in my space, I look at it and I'm like, okay, finish your tenure, prove yourself. Mm. So that when you come out, you can write your book and give your own account of how you feel you should have done better so, and the issues you faced. Then when you contest, you are now coming from, I have clean served slate. this country, yeah. I have served in the private sector, I have written my history, and now I feel I've seen every perspective I want to come and um, become your president. Okay. At this time, it just was not... Let me take this call from Olagoke. Olagoke, are you there? Yes, I'm here. You're live. Go Good ahead, morning. please. Good morning. Morning, Good morning, sir. Morning. Yeah. Please, I will quickly add this. You see, the CBNC and the CBN Act. Yes, I'm here. Good morning. Uh, good morning to you and your ladies here. Good I, I quickly want to say something. The CBN Act has, has been so brutalized. The BC has just read out a portion of it. The CBN Act provides that no, nobody from the commercial bank must be brought to be governor of central bank. That is one mistake they, they've made. Right. Two, the economy is crashing under, under the governor of central bank, and I think they see this as, as an escape route. Number two. Number three. Number three. Now, <clears throat> what is happening? The, 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 the governor is not, even, is not even in control. It's so germane for the economic development of Nigeria. If you look even across the West African coast, our Naira is now very, very useless. Comparison to other currencies, the CEFA, the CD, go and look at it. The Central Bank is not paying the right role right now. Oh. So, if he wants to go, he should go. <coughs> so, if he became the central bank governor, he has opened the vote of central bank to all sorts of things. And what people are doing now is to gather some money and give to their, uh, their, 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 their cronies elsewhere to say, oh, go and buy some for me. Go and buy some. Why don't you probe the sources of those, such uh, contributions? Thank you very much, uh, Olagoke. Yeah. Uh, let's take a few comments on social media before yes. we wrap up on this. So, first. Akim Boyewa says Nigeria would have been bankrupt if not for the way the CBN managed our difficult economy. UK is basically crashing at the moment with inflation creeping to 10% from 2% two years ago. Um, Mac Me says I think it's condemnable declaring interest while still in the office. Even if it's not like that, people's perception will be he's using government money and materials to run for the seat. It's ridiculous and reeks of foul play, but no be Nigeria we day. Hmm. You know, so, I think we can, we can wrap up on mm. this, but I think the general uh, perception is like, let's obey Let the rules. One. One second, one. Yes. Um, the first says again, what's the difference between the CBN governor and ADB, that's African Development Bank's pre, uh, president's aspiration to contest for 2023 elections? Why vilifying the CBN governor? Do we think they're the same? I don't, know what the, I don't think it's no, the same. Uh, the, the African Development Bank is not in charge of Nigeria's yes, economy. economy. Yes, economy, yes. He's not. Mm. He's, not so the, he's not. He's not in charge of the banks. <laughs> So, if, and his indication of interest already contravenes the, his own in, a, in, 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 in the law guide, guiding his, his position. So, yeah. the option is if he wants to actually contest, because what he's done now is shows, shown interest. The next level is if you actually want to become a candidate, you need to resign from being mm. wherever mm. you are. Same I'm applies I, to I think I think it's just the right thing to do. Mm. I mean, Nigerians, leaders across all levels must demonstrate doing the right thing at the end Following time. the rule of law. So, yes, if, we, if they say that you're, you're, you're holding an office right now and it's unethical for you to actually run for office, the right thing for you to do is to step down. And by showing, by stepping down, you're demonstrating to us mm. that that's the right thing to do. And the Nigerians are seeing that leadership. So, 
do the first step. Yeah. Step down. So we are talking to all the governors, the yes. senators, the ministers, all of you too. You're all in the Absolutely same boat. If you are running for office, step you step down. down. Right You've said it do. too many times. Let's go on a break. That's all we can take on this segment. We'll wait for Zekome's um, hearing with the courts today and see what happens. When we come back, move on to other hot topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.